In this video, I want to preach on the three sons of Noah and their unique giftings, and by divine ordinance, the transliteration of their names in English, Shem, Japheth, plus Ham, equals love, plus love, plus half a love, the famous 135, three times three times three times the third prime. These are the three sons of Noah from which the entire earth was populated. It's amazing. So every single person on planet earth ultimately has one of these three sons as their ultimate grandfather. <laughs> okay. And um, it is agreed by scholars uh, whence the various tribes and big uh, you know, people groups with their skin colors came from these men. And I personally believe, and I've, I believe uh, it's a true theory, and that many scholars have suggested this for the Trinity, okay, that these three sons of Noah have the three giftings of the three parts of a human being. You have the spirit or soul, and you have the mind, and then you have the physical body. Okay, and um, Japheth, uh, Shem is the root of the Middle Eastern tribes, the peoples of the Middle East. He's the root of the Jews. Okay, and Abraham. Shem is the father of, is the you know greatest grandfather of Abraham and the Jewish people and the peoples of the Middle East. It's commonly assumed that his uh, skin color was, um, you know, mid-toned. He's the, he's the ancestor of Jesus, of course, and uh, mid-toned, probably darker-skinned, but not black. Japheth would have been white, probably blonde-haired, blue-eyed. He's the, um, the uh, patriarch of the European peoples, Dutch, and most of the whites, okay? This is going, this is really epic. And then Ham is black. Everyone, all scholars agree that Ham was um, black and he was the root of all of the African peoples. Um, and then as for where the Asian, um, Asian peoples, which, which of the descent, which of the fathers, which of these three from whence came the Asian people, um, that is research for other people to dig into and stuff. There's, there's all sorts of opinions out there, but um, it's really cool. This is my theory, okay? And I believe there's a lot of wisdom in it and a lot of um, understanding. So, by, God's, by the triune God's design, every one of us is a three-part being. We have a spirit or soul. That's the eternal part of us. We have a mind and intellect, and then we have a physical body. So let's put the soul at the top here. Soul, spirit, whatever you want to call it. It's just the eternal spirit inside of you. Then you have your mind, and then you have your body, physical body. So this would be like your intellectual, this would be your physical, and this is your spiritual, so to speak. Well, I believe with all my heart that these three components of the human body are particularly, and this is a theory presented by, uh, I can't remember who it was I was reading about, and I think it's absolutely true, um, that these were the three special giftings of the three sons of Noah. Shem, who is the root of the Jewish people, and ultimately Jesus Christ, is the spiritual. Okay? his gift to the world, like all the people who descended from Shem, all the Jewish people, <laughs> you know, whence, like, every, every, every book of the Bible is written by a Jew, okay? There isn't a single book of the Holy Bible that I hold in my hand that was written by a non-Jew. That's what you call a spiritual gift to the world. It's like the prophets, the people who knew God, <laughs> you know? Shem, the descendants of Shem, all of Jewish history, everything that ever came forth, you know, the, the, the spiritual focus, the God focus, the people of the Middle East, so the soul, the spirit, okay, the spiritual, Shem, that's, that was his primary gift. Obviously everyone has all three of these components, but the special gift of Shem was the spiritual. Japheth, the, the, it's fascinating, the descendants of Japheth, were the Europeans, mm -hmm. the white people, okay, um, and uh, Germans, very intellectual, very smart up here, very good problem solvers, and intellectuals, and teachers, and educators, um, and um, 
very good at speaking the English language, good leaders. There's a lot of white leaders in the world. You know, the English population, the, the entire empire of Great Britain. Mm -hmm. Most English-speaking peoples in the entire empire of Britain uh, has a lot of roots in Japheth. Okay? White, white, you know, white-skinned, blonde-haired Japheth. You know, he would have been perhaps red-haired. Um, but the fair, the fair skin people. And, um, and so Japheth's gift to mankind in the story of God is the mind. Chiefly, principally, like the, 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 the highest you know, talent that they would have on average had is the mental capacity, intellectual mind. And then the body, the physical, physical feats, physical energy, you know, the concrete is Japheth, the black people. Okay? And of course, if you look at athletes and professional sport and athletics all over the world today, it's mostly black people. Like, they can spend all day running. The marathon runners from Kenya, they just, they just run all day long. You know, anyone in the, Olymp the Olympics, track and field, just look at how much black blood there is running, you know, in competitive sport all over the world. Like, even obviously the team sports and stuff. Um, and then go back further, just beyond sport, and into the annals of history, when there was a lot more hunting going on, and a lot more physical prowess, and, you know, physical labor for everyone, um, you know, in history. And um, the, the, the Hamites, the black people, it's like, you have an extra dose of physicality. And even... Um, it's, it's mostly agreed that pe peoples of South American descent and Mexican um, people uh, would have descended from Ham as well. And there's just a, there's just a real robustness when it comes to physical labor. Um, and so most people agree that like the gift of Ham, or the extra special talent of the Hamites, the black people, is the, the physical. The physical. The body. You know, the runners. The... And so you've got the physical in Ham, you've got the intellectual and the mental in Japheth, and you've got the spiritual from Shem. Okay, well this is excellent counseling, career counseling material, and vocation, you know, because um, I understand that I am probably from a mix of Shem and Japheth. Like, obviously the giftings and the lines kind of cross when people intermarry and stuff like that. I have, I'm not sure, I could uh, probably spend some time seeking God on, for his answer on which, <laughs> which uh, father I'm ultimately directly from, because technically do I not have to be from one and one alone, or no, wait, I can be from a mixture of the DNA, it's, it's just interesting to think. I know for a fact that I'm mostly Japheth, because obviously I'm a white person, and my roots trace back to Germany. Um, but there's also a lot of Germans who are Jews that would have come from Shem. And so I just see my natural giftings and my natural inclinations. I'm very much into the mind, knowledge, truth, teaching, education, um, preaching, understanding, numbers, words, intellect, world history, uh, did it superior in schooling and writing and academia. Uh, the intellect, the intellect, the intellect. And I'm also a deeply spiritual person and a God lover, first and foremost. So I'm like a really strong, like, you know, blend between Shem and Japheth. <laughs> um, and, uh, but I also love athletics greatly. Like, I love sports and athletics greatly. Kind of interesting. I was the only one in our high school to ever win all three awards, you know, at top athlete of the year and whatever. I was in high school and student of the year. But anyways, I love sports a lot, but I wouldn't do it all day long. Like I'm not the kind of person that would run laps all day long or run in the fields all day long or be physical all day long. That's not me. I need intellectual stimulation. <laughs> I need something for my mind to be active on speaking words, working in, with the intellect, knowledge, facts. I need a lot more intellect in my day. Um, so, you know, as much as I love physical recreation and I love 
playing sports, it's not my number one root. It's, it's not my deepest self. It's, I, I am not a descendant of Ham, first and foremost, that would just love, you know, you look, at, look at the black track and field athletes that are competing at the World Championships right now. They just love training all day, every day, and taking care of their bodies and doing fantastic. You just like Carl Lewis, you know, by the, you know. Um, so, it's like, clearly, I wasn't born, first and foremost, to just be a professional athlete. Clearly, I'm in the Japheth, Shem category, and probably mostly Japheth. European descent, white, <laughs> the intellect, the mind. Okay, that would be my strongest gift. Okay, um, but I think my soul and spirit is pretty darn up there. Like I'm very, these these two areas would be like my highest areas of concentration and you know practice and dwelling in Shem and Japheth. So it's just a, it's an obvious three fest, and I see a connection, an obvious connection between the two. There's three parts to every person: your soul or your spirit, whatever word you want to choose for it, your mind, and your physical body. One, two, three, to the glory of the Trinity. And then I believe with all my heart that the three sons of Noah. Okay. So where did the peoples? So the peoples that descended from Shem became the people of the Middle East. The Jewish people in Israel, the Islamic people, and people in you know the Arabian countries, um, and again the people from Japheth are the white people, the Europeans that moved west and north after the flood, and then the Hamites were the Africans and the black people that would have moved south. And I forget where the Asian people, the story of how the Asian people took off like through the Himalayas and ended up like being somewhat isolated in their gene pool in like China and the regions of the East and who it's hypothesized they came from. Fascinating to, to try and trace the um, peoples of the earth back to these three sons of Noah. It's just fascinating. Um, and uh, But I believe with all my heart that I'm either from Japheth or Shem and uh, so that my highest gifts um, to the world would be in the intellectual arena and the educational arena slash or the and or the spiritual um, arena. Okay. So um, there you go. Just cool preaching on the three sons of Noah, and then again put together. But God is sovereign over over these names written in English. Shem divides by three all by himself. Japheth is plus two and Ham is plus one. An obvious one, two, three that adds perfectly to uh, love plus love plus half a love. Three times three times three times the third prime in the three sons of Noah. So there you go. <laughs> it's good counseling material. It's like if someone, and it's not to say, obviously it's not to say that people, excuse me, can't cross lines. For example, Ben Carson is an African American. I don't know. He's probably has some mixed descent in there. He's not like black, black, like you know, Kenyan, dark black. But um, Ben Carson is a brain surgeon, very intellectually gifted man. It's not to say that there are, you know, completes and there's many great white athletes and there's many spiritual black white people. Let's just say that in over the expanse of world history. And in general, we tend to see that a majority of people in these areas have a stronger gifting or inclination to these three areas of, uh, of a human's makeup. That's, that's kind of what I'm saying. Okay, fun stuff. Just more obvious threes there. And I encourage you to just dig your own, into your own research on that and uh, find more yourself. Um, there you go, mind, soul. So like an excellent occupation for me, a person of Japheth slash Shem is to be a teacher, specifically a teacher as much as possible about God <laughs> and the things of God. But I also love just like science and stuff like that. And, um, 
but I would prefer to pray and meditate and wait for the personal voice of God and have more pleasure there, okay, and being led by the Holy Ghost rather than, you know, chewing up volumes of uh, books, you know, apart from the just simple spiritual connection with God himself. So, but I also love, you know, getting physical exercise, but it's not like my number one passion in life that I have to do all day long. <laughs> okay, cool. Very, very cool.